Slim Pickens, a stalwart figure in classic Hollywood cinema, left an indelible mark through a multitude of legendary works. One could argue that defining a career as prolific as Pickens is a challenging task, given the breadth of his contributions. From his memorable role in Dr. Strangelove to his iconic appearance in Blazing Saddles, Pickens' on-screen presence resonates with audiences across generations. The question of which work truly encapsulates the essence of Slim Pickens' career is subjective, as it hinges on personal preferences and the facets of his performances that resonate most profoundly. Whether riding the nuclear bomb in Stanley Kubrick's satirical masterpiece, or delivering memorable lines in Mel Brooks' comedic gem, Pickens showcased a versatility that cemented his status as a Hollywood mainstay. As we reflect on Slim Pickens' enduring legacy, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic actor. What role or moment left an indelible impression on you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, celebrating the enduring impact of Slim Pickens on the cinematic landscape. Slim Pickens, a renowned actor, had an unconventional entry into the rodeo world. Inspired by a California ranch kid's predicament, he adopted the name Slim Pickens for a calf roping event, winning $400 that afternoon. This incident marked the beginning of his rodeo career. Apart from his rodeo endeavors, Slim Pickens achieved recognition as the dedicatee of Howard Waldrop's Story Night of the Cooters, where Sheriff Burt Lindley serves as the protagonist. This acknowledgement highlights Pickens' impact beyond his on-screen roles. Known for his distinctive roles in Western films, Slim Pickens left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. His unique journey from the rodeo arena to the silver screen adds an intriguing layer to his legacy. Inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in 1982, Slim Pickens solidified his place among the legends of the genre. Beyond the silver screen, his roots in the rodeo world set the stage for a remarkable journey. However, Pickens, known for his candidness, made a decisive choice that altered the course of cinematic history. When Stanley Kubrick sought him for the role of Dick Halloran in The Shining, Pickens, having experienced Kubrick's demanding style in Dr. Strangelove, declined the offer. This pivotal decision paved the way for Scatman Crothers to step into the iconic role. Pickens' impact extended far beyond the rodeo arena and the Wild West landscapes of film, shaping his legacy as a distinctive figure in the entertainment industry. Inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame in 2005, Pickens' rodeo roots remained a defining aspect of his identity. His dual success in both Aaron Ass Rodeo and Hollywood underscored his versatility and unique contribution to American culture. From roping calves to gracing the silver screen, Slim Pickens left an indelible mark, proving that his legacy was as multifaceted as the roles he portrayed. This convergence of rodeo prowess and cinematic prowess forms the essence of Slim Pickens' enduring legacy, making him a revered figure in the annals of Western entertainment. During World War II, Slim Pickens took an unexpected turn in his journey. Joining the U.S. Army Air Force, he intended to showcase his rodeo skills, but was misunderstood as a radio specialist. Consequently, Pickens spent the war stateside, operating radios instead of riding bulls. This unique episode added a distinctive chapter to his life setting the stage for his later ventures. Born to Sally Mosher and Lewis Burton Lindley, Slim Pickens hailed from a Texas lineage. His roots traced back to Ravenna, Fannin, Texas, where his father was born, while his mother originated from Missouri. These familial ties played a crucial role in shaping Pickens' identity and background. A pivotal moment in Pickens' cinematic career unfolded when Stanley Kubrick urgently called upon him for Dr. Strangelove. Peter Sellers, initially slated for the iconic bomb riding scene, had encountered an unfortunate accident. Kubrick's plea for Pickens to fill in led to a hurried journey to London. However, the actor faced a passport hiccup, having never traveled abroad before. This unplanned obstacle only added to the drama, underscoring Pickens' commitment to his craft. Slim Pickens' life was a tapestry woven with rodeo threads, family roots, and unexpected cinematic turns. From his rodeo roots to radio duties in the military and impromptu roles on the silver screen, Pickens left an indelible mark on both the Wild West and Hollywood. 
This multifaceted journey defines the enduring legacy of an actor whose life was as richly diverse as the roles he portrayed. Best remembered as Major King Kong, the United States Air Force B-52 pilot in the iconic film Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, Slim Pickens brought a unique Southern charm to the character. His portrayal of the cowboy pilot tasked with dropping in a bomb on Russia left an indelible mark on cinematic history. What many may not know is that when Pickens arrived on set fully dressed as a cowboy and spoke in a thick southern accent, the British crew initially thought he was employing method acting. Little did they realize that this was Pickens' authentic style. Beyond his cinematic success, Slim Pickens earned a place in the Rodeo Hall of Fame of the Rodeo Historical Society in 1986. His roots in the rodeo world, as seen in his early calf roping victories, continued to shape his identity. Pickens' ability to seamlessly transition between the Wild West arenas of rodeo and the silver screen highlighted his versatility and enduring impact on American culture. From the rodeo grounds to the Hollywood set, Slim Pickens' journey was as dynamic as the roles he played. His distinctive cowboy persona not only made him a legend in Western entertainment, but also turned Major Kong into an unforgettable character in the satirical masterpiece Dr. Strangelove. This convergence of cowboy spirit and cinematic prowess defines the enduring legacy of Slim Pickens in the annals of American entertainment. Before gracing the silver screen, Slim Pickens, born Louis Burton Lindley Jr., was a true cowboy at heart, having cut his teeth on the rugged rodeo circuit. His distinctive moniker, Slim, was bestowed upon him following a humorous remark about the slim chances he initially seemed to have in the competitive world of rodeo. Interestingly, Pickens hailed not from the expected plains of Texas, but rather from the town of Kingsburg, California. This geographical anomaly only added to the mystique of the man who would later become a beloved figure in American cinema. What truly set Slim Pickens apart was his ability to defy stereotypes. Despite being a Californian, Pickens embraced a southern drawl that became one of his trademark features. This unexpected choice only added to the authenticity of his performances, making him a memorable presence on screen. As an actor, Slim Pickens made an indelible mark on cinematic history, with three of his films earning a prestigious spot in the National Film Registry. One-Eyed Jacks, a Western classic directed by Marlon Brando, showcased Pickens' versatility in the genre. The satirical masterpiece Dr. Strangelove saw him navigating the absurdities of nuclear warfare under Stanley Kubrick's direction, while the iconic comedy Blazing Saddles solidified his status as a comedic force to be reckoned with. From the dust and adrenaline of rodeo arenas to the glamour of Hollywood, Slim Pickens' journey was as diverse as the roles he portrayed on the big screen. His enduring legacy in American entertainment is a testament to his talent, versatility, and the unique charm he brought to every project he undertook. In the annals of cinema, the name Slim Pickens stands as a testament to the unpredictability and richness of the American entertainment landscape, forever etched in the history of the silver screen. This is the legacy of a man who defied expectations, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of audiences. Slim Pickens' story, both on and off the screen, is a captivating narrative woven into the tapestry of American culture. As our journey through the cinematic landscapes concludes, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of nostalgia and admiration. The indelible mark left by a certain luminary whose performances resonated with countless hearts beckons us to reflect on the profound connection we share with the art of storytelling. In the tapestry of entertainment, Slim Pickens undeniably carved a niche that transcends the mere portrayal of characters. It's an invitation to traverse the vast terrains of memory and emotion, a prompt to wander down the lanes of personal recollection. What scenes stirred your soul? Which lines linger in the recesses of your mind? This is your moment to share the fragments of cinematic magic that etched themselves into your own narrative. As we collectively weave this tapestry, let the threads of your reflections intertwine with those of others, creating a mosaic of appreciation for the craft that transcends time. Your thoughts are the brushstrokes that paint a vivid portrait of the impact Slim Pickens had on the canvas of entertainment. In bidding adieu to this cinematic exploration, let's extend a heartfelt acknowledgement to Slim Pickens for the enduring legacy of laughter, tears, and contemplation. 
The footprints left by this remarkable artist have shaped the very fabric of our shared cultural experience. Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with us, for sharing your thoughts, and for allowing the echoes of Slim Pickens' performances to reverberate within you. Your presence in this shared space of appreciation adds a unique hue to the canvas of artistic celebration. May the memories linger, the reflections endure, and the appreciation for the art of storytelling thrive. Until we meet again in the realm of shared nostalgia, this is your humble cue to step into the spotlight of remembrance.